Hey, I'm Hugh. Welcome to Hugh Scam Products. First of all, I just want to say thank you to everybody who has liked, subscribed, and commented. Every interaction that people have with this channel helps boost me up the algorithm, helps make my videos more uh, viable in the search results when people look for uh, these scam products. So that way they can get better warnings. So thank you to everybody who's done that. So in this video today, I'm going to talk about ads like this one. I really hope that that guy is an actor and that he doesn't have a cut in this because he is saying some completely unreal crap. And I'm also going to just give you some few tips where you can actually save some gas in your car. All right. So first of all, this commercial, this is all this commercial. This is this guy standing in front of a green screen truck telling you about how he was going to sell his truck for pennies on the dollar because he couldn't afford the gas anymore until his mechanic friend gave him a little device. He said, plug this in. It'll work wonders. He plugged it in, boom, he got double his gas mileage. And he also got a little more horsepower too. This dude, I really hope he's an actor. If you can tell, they got him all shilled up in his tractor hat and his flannel to make him more believable. This is BS. This video has like 1.6 million views. Most of the comments in this video, if you look, are from like six months ago, four months ago, six months ago five months ago they're all from click farms he paid somebody to click on these ads and the person whose uh, channel this is john davis he, he doesn't this video doesn't show up in his videos this isn't john davis you know he, he he bought an ad this isn't really john davis this isn't some guy giving you the lowdown trying to tell you that the eco energy or or whatever uh whatever this guy's, what do they call this thing? They also use CNN masthead here. They use CNN, HN, Oz, Fox News. They're using other people's brand recognized logos to give this product legitimacy when it doesn't. Take your 70% discount. All right, these things are, are a complete scam. This one, they're calling the, wait for it, Eco Energy. All right, this thing has been around for at least six years. Big Clive did a teardown on this six years ago. They're calling it the Eco OBD2 Den, or the Eco Mod, or the Eco Tune, or the Eco Box, or the whatever they want to call it. These things are $2 coming out of China a piece. You can get them in green, you can get them in blue, you can get them in red, you can get them in yellow as well. All right. So these things are, are all junk. It's not like hey, there's one legitimate product and there's like a bunch of knockoffs that are trying to copy that one really good legitimate product. None of these work. Do not buy these. Okay, so there's like three simple things you can do to get better gas mileage. Your tires, make sure your tires are properly inflated to the proper PSI that's recommended for your car. Just don't go by the max that's on the tire. Look inside the door, there's a little sticker that tells you the proper PSI for your car. You don't wanna be having overinflated tires, having bad tire wear. The other thing too is having the right tires on your car. Like, don't have winter tires all summer. That soft, grippy rubber in the winter is gonna really slow down your car and give it a lot more friction in the summer, decreasing your gas mileage. Other thing you can do is have a clean car. If you have a bunch of dirt on the outside of your car, trying to go through the air, it's gonna slow it down. Also cleaning your car means taking all the excess junk out of your car. The less weight you have to haul around, the less gas you're gonna use. And the third, the biggest thing that you're gonna to do to save gas money is your driving habits. Don't accelerate hard from stops. If you can, coast when you're coming up to a turn instead of slamming on your brakes. Don't tailgate so that way you can give yourself a little bit of time to coast when somebody else breaks in front of you instead of having to brake all the time. You know, instead of driving uh, 60, 75 miles an hour, try driving 69 miles an hour. It really will save a lot. It's like 15% on some cars, especially your bigger, boxier trucks and stuff. Slow down. You will get way better gas mileage. How far are you going? You going 30 miles away? You know, that five mile an hour, 10 mile an hour difference over, you know, a half an hour, it's minutes. It's a couple minutes. Take an extra two minutes to get there and save yourself a gallon of gas. All right, so 
These things are just little things you can do to save gas money. None of these electronic devices that you plug in are going to work to save you gas. Yes, they do have chips that you can like tune your car with, but that's if you want like more performance and they generally decrease your gas mileage and just dump fuel in and they're not good for your car anyway. Unless you have some aftermarket system like a turbocharger or a supercharger or you did something else, then you need to have your ECU or your brain, you know, your car's brain rewired anyway to, you know, account for the different uh you know timing delays and the different amount of fuel needed and stuff but most cars the reason why this works on 99 percent of the cars is because it doesn't work it just plugs in and it just takes a little bit of power from your car and lights up two led lights that flash all right thank you to everybody who's made it this far i really appreciate it i bought one of these it's on the way i'll do an in-depth review of it when it comes so please you know come back for that if you want to see how much of a piece of crap this is but till then save your money have a good day Thank you very much.